This is Alim from Javelin. In this video, I will attempt to straighten up this bent I-beam. As you can see, I'm dealing with an imported file, so I don't have any features. I will use the neutral fiber, so let's determine first that neutral fiber. I'm gonna use the mid-surface command first, and using the automated find face pairs tool, I will be able to automatically select the top and bottom faces. So let's accept this selection. You can see the surface body that got created. Allow me to hide it for a moment. I'm going to press tab key for that. And let's create the other mid surface in the opposite direction. In order to make my life easier for, for this command, I'm going to add one more view. So I'm going to have a view on the left and one on the right. In here, I'm going to arrange the model in this orientation. Here I'm going to look for the, uh, on the model from, uh, from the opposite side, something like this. And now when I'm running the mid surface, because this is a manual selection exercise, I'm just going to go and select on both sides one by one. Here it, it helps if you bring these viewports closer together so you don't have that much mouse travel like I have. Even though for the purpose of demonstration, this is good. It makes uh, the selection process very, very clear. So as you can see, I'm selecting each pair of faces and then I'm going to accept my selection. Now, if I am to hide the solid body, let me close one of the, view, uh, the windows and bringing back the other surface body, you can see the two surface bodies, one on top of each other. I'm going to use this for parametrically determining the intersection curves, the intersection curve between these two surface bodies. And with this created, I will delete the two surface bodies because I don't need them any further. What I wanted is this sketch, which we might want to color. Good. Let's edit this sketch and convert these entities to a fit spline using the option to constrain the spline on those lines. And let's go as close as, I don't know, five decimal places. Then, if I am to draw another line, let's start again from the origin going in this direction on the x direction and I am to apply an equal curve relation which is new in SOLIDWORKS 2017 between the two lines this line should be the equivalent of the approximated length the length of that spline let's bring back the surface body the solid body shift tab for that and let's go on this face, run convert entities, so I have the same profile, and let's extrude all the way to the end of this line. Of course, if you want this to be a separate body, you would not merge the results. Right now, this would work parametrically, and you can test that by adding maybe a move face command, so let's try to run move face on all these faces. Looks like it takes a bit to select. Let's go to translate. And instead of going X, Y, Z, allow me to pick up a certain direction based on this edge. And I'm gonna leave it like that. Let's come back to the present. And let's edit that move face command. So as I'm moving this long further, notice how the length of the straighten body updates automatically. Thank you very much. 